Okay, so this is where I left off in the middle of this quest. In the middle of uh, this. I went and got the parts. Now I gotta go deliver them to Jin, Jin Lei. Jin Lei? However you say her name. I think it's Jin, Jin Lei. Alright. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Yeah. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. Yeah. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators and here we are. Okay. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Ooh, leveled up. And what that means, menu time. Okay. Put some skill points in. Now it's time to go deal with a little... A quote, slight mantapillar infestation. You've missed three shifts without notice. I was fixing that toilet you sent me to repair. The one above the Lost Hope? That was days ago. The fucking door. It locked behind me. And it wasn't until the freighter captain found me that I... You're lucky the chief would have my ass if I spaced you. Now get back to work, Private. Right away, sir. Okay. Well, that's what happened, boss. He's telling the truth. He really is. Uh, how do I get over there? Do I ride this elevator? Ooh. Mass Effect elevator scene. Let's have witty banter. Killed. I don't. Huh. Can I use while in combat? Why am I in combat? Oh. There's one of them. Oh, up there! Oh, sh Shisa. Guys, kill him. I'm busy. Busy not being able to see it. Okay. Yep. There we go. Got them all. Trusty, trusty assault rifle. What's on this terminal? Propulsion plant master circuit. That was a lot of plosives for the microphone right there. Sorry about that. <laughs> Archived logs and transmissions. That's a lot of words. I can't, I don't read good, so. There you go. Yep. Have fun. See what's over here, or see where we need to go. <sighs> You can't jump at ladders and then start climbing them halfway up them. Song tells me the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of panties. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are used to repeat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Oh, lovely. Think fast if you can. Shoot fast if you need to. Easy does it. Frickin' doors barred. Gotta go all the way around. What is this crap? Go.
Okay. That's one. Hide. Doing some sneaky, sneaky stuff. Is he gonna come around the corner? I guess not. No. Dude. Not gonna lie, melee weapons are quite disappointing. They just don't, I don't know, like, I guess you just take so much damage from the enemies that it doesn't seem worth it to have them. Alright. Like, it just, I don't know, the bullets do, like, more damage, or, like, the same damage, and you don't have to expose yourself to so many threats. Because that's what it feels like. It feels like you're just exposing yourself to threats, like, unnecessary damage taken when you, uh, when you use a melee weapon in this game. And that could very well just be because I don't have a build. I don't. I'm not using the blocks and and stuff like that. But I can't imagine the blocks block damage from bullets. So I don't know. Oh shit. Made him tiny. He's so small. He's so small. Now nothing is scary. I'm sorry. What did you say, John Lee? I wasn't listening to her at all. Oh. Use the terminal. Cycle droplet pumps. Non expendable personnel must exit the maintenance shaft before activating. Okay. I'm sure they'll pay me. I'm sure they'll pay me. Yeah, sorry about the auto mechanicals. I tried sneaking, but it didn't work. It really was not. Just, you know, it wasn't what they wanted to do. It's not my fault. I, I broke my leg. It's not my fault. Elevator talk. Oh, yes. Did you hear about the latest news from the Citadel? <laughs> Somebody thought that was funny, I'm sure. Not, like, that funny, but, like, I'm sure it made somebody, like, nose laugh. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts. But you're all right. How convenient. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Welder's goggles. 3,000 bits. Oh my goodness. You're right. I don't. The board is after two things. Bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my. Okay, um. 
let's see what quest do we want to do hmm Dr. Dorset said the captain or somewhere on Skill 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 <laughs> Yeah. And so I gotta talk to Udom. I might as well go talk to Udom Bedford. Or wait, sorry, what was that? Where was Edna? Who's Edna? Oh, you're Edna. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or, uh, sometime dire soon. So what's wrong? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That'll put the whole system in a right dire situation. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. So you need me. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. Yeah, I could do that. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? The relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Okay, that that works. Oh. Alright, now do I wanna go talk to Udom. Yeah, let's go talk to Udom. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of... I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. This? Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? You sprat fuck, give me back my ship. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Uh... Yeah. Oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? Hmm. Okay, do I want to... Huh. No. How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. No, I never met the guy. The droppings. I did not know that, thank you. Again, I'm very sorry. 
Right. Got right. important You're stuff to do. Places, I'm sure. Try and make a let's play here, Udom. <laughs> there. I have removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Who's this Wells guy? I read the posters. He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. I never mentioned him. That's, uh, well, that's just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Um, wasn't there something else? Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. How much does she owe? Huh. Kind and efficient. Can't say I disapprove. Although, I think you may have underestimated the size of Miss Doyle's debt. If you'll look over this itemized bill. Uh, what? I am extremely anguished, Captain. Please respect my feelings in this difficult time. I doubt Mr. Bedford's ever felt real pain. We could introduce him to the sort of suffering that actually constitutes extreme anguish. For the good of his understanding, of course. Okay. Be careful you don't irritate my guards, Vicar. You might not like their rather narrow understanding of what constitutes excessive force. 2,000 bits? Unless you can offer some other means of resolving her debt. I'm afraid we have nothing further to discuss. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now. Okay. Well, I'm broke. <laughs> I'm not a good. I'm not that good. All right. Wait, um, where is the... There's the medical bay. There we go. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got... The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better-than-average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. Come on. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you.
Level 10. Something on your mind? Got Ellie and what's her name? Pravati. Why is my stuff so? <coughs> is that for my armor? No. Maybe? Engineering. Why is my why are my skills so debuffed? Huh. I don't know. Huh. Ooh. Health restore on kills. That's really cool. Consumable weight. Carrying capacity bonus from companions. Tin is the dialogue skills when you have no no uh, companions in the party. Convincing vendors to pay you more bits than they should. I don't... Okay. I don't see the point of that, but... I say let's go with the science weapon damage. Now, for real, though, why are my skills so... I'm phobic, but what am I'm phobic to robots? And what's the Is that in my character journal? And like details? But it should almost be minus one. Why is it why is it minus three for being phobic? Huh. It's minus six for being phobic. It's because my perception Ah Huh. My perception is below average. Wow. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Makes me average, but I'm still below average from my temperament because of my. Huh. Wow. Because I took a flaw, basically. 